So how do we get connected to that Hack the Box virtual environment using the OpenVPN? Hey, I'm WJ Pierce, and this is a really quick tutorial on exactly how we do that. So we are going to need a piece of software to do this, um, and it's going to be our virtual box. We are going to need a virtual machine running, which is PowerOS. You can use Kali or Power, or you can use any virtual machine really, but I tend to use these two because they're really great for offensive and defensive security. Um, if you're brand new to Hack the Box, brand new to virtual machines, and you're looking for a really quick tutorial of how to set up your virtual machine, I do actually have a tutorial on that a couple of videos back. But Hack the Box also provides you with a free two-hour session into a cloud-configured virtual machine. So you can just jump into that and start practicing the lab straight away. You don't need to bother with VirtualBox. But without further ado, here's how you get connected. As I said, you need that virtual machine with the outside internet connection. So we're going to launch our internet browser of choice, which is Firefox in our case. And we're going to hope that it launches really quickly. <laughs> There we go. So we navigate to hackthebox.com. While that's loading, I will launch a terminal. So here we are at Hack the Box, a massive hacking playground. I'm going to hit sign in and hope that it auto signs me in because I don't think I can remember my password. Nope. Oh, sweet. It's auto filled. Oh, no, it hasn't. Uh, I think I know what I need to enter. Amazing. Okay, so we come over to labs, we hit starting point, and you're going to see this connect to HTB in the top right hand corner. You click that, you click starting point, you click open VPN. That pawn box thing was the thing I was telling you about with the free configured cloud virtual machine. So I'm obviously not from the US, uh, but I'm going to leave it on the US because for some reason I get a better connection when I connect to a US server as opposed to an EU one. Uh, I hit download VPN. I'm going to take the VPN that I currently have and delete it. I'm going to press OK. Come to Downloads, hit Open. Now it's gone straight to my Downloads folder, which is where you'd expect. I tend to work off my desktop on these virtual labs, so I'll just hit that. Now it gives you the path, so the path, the command is OpenVPN. If you don't have OpenVPN already installed, just do a sudo apt-get OpenVPN if you're on a Debian-based virtual machine, which Kali and PowerOS are. Uh, and then you want to open your VPN file. So I'll show you exactly how you do that. So you know, sudo open VPN starting point, then hit tab to finish the command and you hit enter, enter my password so I can perform root actions. And there we go. We're going to see initialization sequence complete and we can minimize this now. Now, we want to open a new terminal, and this is where we're going to actually be working from, and we need to keep that terminal open to keep that VPN connection open as well. Um, so you can see here that it says pending connection. It may take up to two minutes, um, so I'll cut out this wee bit of the video, and hopefully we'll come back and we'll be connected to their virtual private network. Hey, it's already done it. So we're now connected, so we can close this, and we can come down to Meow, which is probably where you are if you've watched this video, and we can hit Spawn Machine. We'll wait for it to create the instance. Welcome back. Uh, that did take about a minute or so, so I will definitely cut that out. So I've copied the IP. I'll just do a quick ping to make sure we do actually have an active connection before we start running Nmap and whatnot. Hit enter. And there we go. We're getting a reply back ICMP protocol. And that means that we are connected and inside the virtual box, uh, hack the box, sorry, VPN. All right. I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be a walkthrough of this Meow Lab.